Good morning. Hello. I want to give a shout out to the world. Uh, for the last 200 and so days, I have been grabbing a poem from my poem site that I've written before and, and I rewrite them and then I put it on this podcast. Well, today I had a, an errand and uh, i just not in the mood for uh, doing what I do. So I grabbed the poem from my past, from my first book, my first and only book. And man, that book is just selling like crazy. Just... You just can't uh, keep them on the shelf long enough. Actually, not even my family will buy my book. <laughs> so I grabbed the poem from the book, and uh, I think it's pretty good. I got an invitation to enter a poetry site. Ten grand, if I can win. I have some good ones, and this is the one that I picked. I have a lot of them, but this is the one I picked today. I hope it's a it, they consider it a poem. It's a little bit half poem, half story. I do I do what I do. It's just what it, it's just my style. <clears throat> I live in the desert. Uh, about a mile from me, it's, it's just plain desert, and every uh, year more and more houses are encroaching on that wilderness desert. When I first moved here, uh, the desert reached a, a certain point, and then now it's at least five miles in. And they will keep on going because the developers, somehow, they have a way of uh, getting things passed through legislative of towns, maybe... Uh, Bad business practice. You know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say they always win. They always find a way to encroach on the wilderness. Um, so here is what I wrote. It's called, I just pulled my car over. I just pulled my car over in the middle of the desert on a hot day. Everything seems very still. There must be nothing happening, right? This time I right away say... But now if you look closely and if you listen intently, the land is sharing its secrets. There goes a scorpion running as if his life depended on it. There are flies doing their dance in the air. It's a wonder they do not crash to the gnats that are doing their own thing. The ants are walking in formation. They're good at minding their own business. We can learn a lot from them. The, cac the cactus flowers are out. But they only last for one day, bright yellows and orange and even white. The bees are having a field day where they stand, just sucking up the nectar. What's that, I say? Oh, just an old crow looking up at a hawk. They will not bother him, but he worries anyway. The desert is exceptionally beautiful today. Last night there was a shower and all the plants being happy and full. The silence is broken when a burro passes by. I wonder where he gets his water and what does he eat. The desert must provide all that he needs. Wild horses are also searching for food. They like to forage. They seem exceptionally happy. If only they were left alone, mankind is always meddling where they should not. They look up as if to say, leave me alone. Spiders walk by. What exactly do they do all day? probably checking those ingenious webs they create to capture food. There are rocks everywhere. How long have they been there, I wonder? The highway has cut right through the land like scissors on paper. Overhead I hear airplanes, people shuffling from going from here to there. And also people here are pulling over to photograph themselves. They really are saying, I have been here. I heard there are rattlesnakes, but I did not see any on this day. But I thought of them makes me scared. All the creepy things here in the desert floor is saying the same thing. This is our place. Thank you and please reshare.